In the last couple of months, we have been receiving more and more questions about how we help senior and executive candidates with their MBB interview preparation. And I will address this question in today's video and provide some information on what we exactly do with senior profiles, how we help them and how they are then able to secure top tier strategy consulting offers. So to first start off with a little bit of a definition, um, when I say senior or executive candidate, I am referring to candidates that have at least 10 to 15 years of high caliber experiences under their belt. And let's, other than that, get right into it. So the main difference is that compared to the highly standardized graduate recruiting processes, senior recruiting for top tier consultancies like McKinsey, BCG, and also Bain are way less standardized and are way less defined. And the exact process use is, is, is depending on several different factors. So the, the level of seniority, the location, the company, and also the function that you as a senior candidate would interview for. And this is just to name a few. And that means while all, all of the senior candidates needs to be also excellent and analytical problem solvers. They, while all of them need to be excellent communicators and having a strong track record of impact delivered, they also need to master the additional requirements of their respective processes. And here, usually the fun really starts for two reasons. First, as I said, the top tier consultancy uh, processes are way less defined and also your senior evaluators do not care too much about the restrictions that are provided by HR as they do what they believe is useful anyways. And you can be sure if you're going into the process as a more senior or executive candidate, you only will meet senior evaluators that have seen a lot and that will be able to calibrate your performance against a huge set of data points and experiences from other interviews. And the second reason, and um, here to be completely honest, sometimes I need to really shake my head in, in pure disbelief. Many of the senior candidates are not clarifying enough. Some of them are not clarifying at all about the process and the formats that will be used in these interviews, right? Essentially, they don't know what they will be evaluated up on in detail and what formats and, and methods will be used to evaluate them. And I mean, I, I, I spoke or I'm speaking every couple of weeks to people that have 15, 20, 30 plus years of experiences in a specific function. And they ask for our support, but they are not even able to answer a single question on the details that they will need to go through in their respective processes. And to be clear, not because it was not given to them in many instances, but because they did not ask for it. So that also is giving you a good outline of how we then will work with these candidates, because essentially first we are clarifying um, by asking the right questions to HR and what we can compare the process with. Once this is clear, we then develop an individual plan according to the priorities that came out of the first step. Then we start to execute up on the plan. There is also usually like one or two get to know interviews with partners. We are using these systematically to already ask the right question, to collect information, to hit later on the right points in the evaluative discussions um, and to really make sure 
that our senior candidates do not only um, come with a, a random response on questions, but with, with a well thought out plan and vision that is completely aligned with what the top tier consultancies are looking for. And this will give you then the competitive edge because in the end, what especially senior folks is completely underestimating is the fact that the consultancies will only consider you if there is a strong conviction and belief that this would be a good idea from a mutual perspective, meaning that also you would benefit in your career with your objectives, with your goals from that move. And this is something what most candidates completely underestimate and where they are also not able to have a clear and strong and convincing perspective to answer questions that are going into that direction. So that's number one. And the second part of what we are seeing is that many of the senior candidates are completely are unable to verbalize the C-level experiences, the C-level discussions, the C-level decisions they have been supporting, have, have been or have been interacted with um, in the past because it's also normal for them. So it's, it's something they then often do not even mention anymore, but then they are missing um, big points here, right? Because you would also need to understand who's sitting in front of you, so the partner or senior partner interviewing you, and um, what they are looking for as individuals, but also what their institution or company is looking for. And you will need to make sure that you are an interesting profile for all the different um, yeah, objective, uh, goal systems uh, that, uh, that there are in these interviews. So that means, Give the partner what he or she wants to hear, give the institution what she or he or she wants to hear and also be clear on what you want to have out of this conversation. Because the truth is, if there is not a mutual fit after these conversations, it's just not a good idea to join an MBB or to join a top tier strategy consultancy, right? You need to be also convinced by yourself that this is the right next career step for you, that you can actually leverage the impact that you could generate or generate from an institution like McKinsey or Bain or um, BCG, that you can leverage the impact in the best way possible for something that you would find useful, that you would be convinced of as the right next career step for you. So make sure you know what you're doing with your professional time. But since you're watching this until this very point in time, I'm sure you already have made up your mind here. So let's go.